What's up, YouTube? Here I am, bright and early, on a Wednesday morning. At the church, I have a new package. Nice little toy. Let's take it out, stay tuned. So as you can see, this product is from b &H Photo. Shout out to them. Let's get into it. Sir, finally got it. Oh man, it actually didn't take that long. I thought it would probably take a little bit longer, but once it sh shipped, it actually got here pretty fast. Got the ATEM Mini Extreme. Finally, finally got a Black Magic Design product for the church. You can see. Uses eight separate HDMI cameras. You can live stream with Ethernet or a cell phone. Works like a USB webcam. Program video to USB discs. Um, six, six picture in picture effects. Um, da Vinci in camera color correction. Um, but yeah, like. This product is a beast. Um, it's been long awaited, so we're gonna be switching out at the church. Stay tuned. There's one thing I wish they included was the USB-C adapter cable. Okay, so the first app that you need to download from the Blackmagic Design site is the ATEM setup. Uh, you go to Black Magic Designs website and you select the device that you're using, which is in this case the ATEM Mini Extreme, and it'll give you the the newest update. Uh, and when you download the setup, it will allow you to update the hardware. And um, through this setup, you'll also be able to configure your IP address, things like that, program, cut bus, 
all that stuff. You can do all of that um, through the setup. We then downloaded the ATEM software control app. Um, and from this, you can control camera angles, different things like that. You can kind of see it changing in the background. You could do all of that if you wanted to. Um, but then it has different things like the media player because remember, this has an encoder built into it. So you can actually stream directly from the device. I, well, our media team, we just like to use, we still like to use OBS in, with that because you don't have to have things preloaded and it's just, but if you wanted to, you could do it from there. And you do have media players and different things you can, you can upload. Um, things you can put, do upstream, downstream, keyers, anything you would like to. Um, you have two different outputs. Um, and Wow. You have four different outputs, but I don't know if you guys can see that, but so that's two HDMI outs and then two webcam USB-C outs. Um, but right here is showing me two because I have two connected. Um, one is set to program, obviously. And then what we like to do is set this one to multi-view. So let's do that. That's set to multi-view. Um, and this is how I have our multi-view set up right now. Um, so yeah, there's that. One thing I will say that I've noticed from, we tried this out um, this past Sunday, actually, and um, the camera quality definitely seems a lot different. I think it actually encodes it better than the field world does. Well, I like the color science that's based on it. I think that was just pretty interesting to see how the colors were represented. You can upload media stuff here. Um, um, like I said, we usually just use this, but it's nice to keep this because like I always say, um, as my friend says, um, you never want to have more than one point of failure. Um, and so that's a nice backup. Just having peace of mind knowing that, say that for whatever reason, say the Wi-Fi goes out, you can always connect your your cellular data to the encoder here, and it would still work if you're trying to stream in a pinch, um, and not even really giving up anything in quality. But um, that part is really nice. Thanks for tuning in on the Sound Guy Chronicles. We'll see you on the next episode.